Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And today is January 5th, uh, which is a Friday this year, uh, and as is assigned in the lectionary uh, for these days between Christmas uh, and then eventually the first Sunday after Epiphany, the lessons are actually assigned for the dates of the days of the week. So today, January 5th, uh, tomorrow is the Feast of the Epiphany itself, but the, this is the lesson that's assigned for morning prayer, uh, for morning, uh, and that is from, again, the first epistle of St. John. We're gonna finish up that epistle uh, on this, the fifth day of January, with the fifth chapter of the first epistle. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and Everyone that loveth him, that begat him, loveth him also, that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and we keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father and the Word and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you, that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he heareth us, Whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. If any man see his brother sin, a sin, which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin is not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pay for it. All unrighteousness is sin. And there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world hath life in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is come, and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. 
and that's the end of the first epistle. There are two more St. John's epistles, but that's the end of the first one. Uh, I think it's interesting because for people who don't, who claim that there's not a trinity, there's a group of, that uh, calls themselves a church across the service drive from us, that doesn't believe in God the Holy Trinity. And yet we have right here in St. John's epistle, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father and the Word and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Oh my goodness, that's the doctrine of the Holy Trinity, isn't it? The Father, the Word is the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and they're one. One witness, one God. So anyway, sorry, tomorrow's the Epiphany, uh, but today we are still on January 5th, it's still celebrating the Theseus, the 12th day of Christmas. So we thank God for all that. Unfortunately, all this stuff will go away uh, after we keep the first Sunday of Epiphany. All this stuff will go back into storage uh, for another nearly year, uh, and we will move on to our next season at church. But I do hope, there's no public worship today at church, but I do hope that you'll be with us on Sunday and to celebrate the good news of God and Jesus Christ. And may your Friday be full of blessings.